begin today, August 22nd, National Pecan Tort Day. Another pecan day, another cake day. It's a cake. I love when they call it a tort, and then you look up recipes for torts, and they're basically cakes. It's the same thing. Uh, except this one is going to be done in a, what is this called, an angel food cake pan? Angel food cake pan, I think that's what it is. Something like that. Uh, anyway, so it's, again, like I said, a pecan thing. I wish we'd get away from the nut cakes because nuts are really expensive <laughs> uh, when you're doing these recipes. You know, it's like a two, a bag of two cups is like seven bucks. I mean, it's, it's kind of pricey for two cups of pecans. I mean, really. But anyway, this one sounded really cool. Uh, and we're going to do this one with a maple glaze. We try to mix it up. We try to do different stuff. Um, for this one, I'm going to need my food processor and my mixer. Um, and here's our ingredients and what you'll need. You can start preheating your oven because I think this one's going to be kind of quick to put together. 325. Be right back. Here's what you need. Okay, for our pecan tort portion today, we need two cups of pecan halves, three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, five large eggs at room temperature, separated, a half a cup of granulated sugar, a quarter cup of vegetable oil, three tablespoons of orange juice, two teaspoons of grated orange zest, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, so let's do our dry stuff first. That's what we got to do. We're going to mix our pecans, our flour, Our baking powder and our salt okay and we're just gonna pulse this until it's a very fine mixture okay so your mixture should look like sand once you pulsed it all okay it's kind of what it looks like alrighty and then all right, I'll, just, I'll just take it off <laughs> I don't need that anymore uh, in our bowl here, I separated our five eggs. So we have our whites and our yolks, okay? So take your five whites in here with your whip attachment, and we're just going to whip this up till it's nice, soft peaks, okay? Like when you're doing a meringue. Okay, so you want nice, soft peaks. As you can see, it's soft there, eh, maybe a little stiff, but that's all right. Okay, what you're going to do now is take this and put this, as you can see, it's very, just egg whites, nothing else. Okay, look at that. You're going to put that in a separate bowl here and put it on the side for right now, okay, because I need this bowl for the next part. I really got to invest in a second bowl. <laughs> but let me just rinse this out, and we'll be right back. To do the next step. Okay, and then back into our clean bowl here. Take your five egg yolks now, because remember you separated these, okay? And put all the rest of the stuff in there your egg yolks, your sugar, vanilla, your oil, your orange juice, and your orange zest, okay? All that in there. And whip that. So there's our yolk mixture. Now what you're going to do, two additions, you want to do half of this first and then we'll do the other half. So half of this mixture you want to put into your egg yolks and just fold it in, okay? That's your pecan mixture you're putting in. So it kind of looks like grainy mustard <laughs> once you get that incorporated. Now, what you're going to do is, again, in two batches, fold in your egg whites. But remember to just kind of be as careful as possible because you don't want to deflate your egg whites. That's what makes your cake nice and fluffy. Okay, so just gently fold until that's all incorporated. And then we'll do the other half of the egg whites. see it's still pretty voluminous um, from the egg whites okay from folding the egg whites in 
So now what we're going to do is add this to our pan. It's probably only going to fill about a third of the way up from what this recipe says. So I'm going to make sure I try to do it as evenly as possible. It's a well greased pan because we do not want our cake to stick. Please. We hate when our cake sticks. But this is one of those pans, like a tart pan, that has a removable bottom. So now I've never used this as a brand new pan. I got it just today for this show and for tomorrow's show because we're baking for the next couple days. Uh, we got a couple different things. We got another cake tomorrow and we have a pie the day after that. So uh, I got this pan to use for today and tomorrow and I have no idea how it works. I'm praying that the weight of the cake keeps the bottom <laughs> down so it doesn't leak out like a spring fork. So, fingers crossed. The tar pan doesn't leak out, so I'm assuming this is going to do the same thing. I just want to smooth out the top a little bit here. Okay, so this is going to go into our 325 oven. I'm doing it actually at 300 because this is one of those darker pans and that for some reason you always go a little less on the temperature. So I'm going to do 300 and we're going to do it for about 45 to 50 minutes. You just want it till when you touch it, it springs. It springs back. Okay? We'll keep our eye on it. We're baking like we always do. See you when this one comes out and then we'll make our maple glaze that we're going to pour over the top of this and then we're going to eat our pecan tour today. Alrighty? See you in a little bit. Alright, our cake is out, out of the pan, been cooling off. I mean, look how great it came out. Our pecan tour. I shouldn't say our cake. So I'm just going to move this to a plate because it's time to put our glaze together. We're going to pour that over the top of this, let this sit for a little bit, and then we're going to come back and have our tasting, all right? So for the glaze, it's just four things, really easy. A cup of powdered sugar. It's two tablespoons of maple syrup. Okay. A good maple syrup, if you got. Uh, two and a half tablespoons of milk and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. That's it. Just whisk this together and it's gonna get syrupy like a glaze, which is what we want. Oh, you can smell the cinnamon and everything in this. I just think that the maple and the pecans are gonna go really good together. Okay, look at that. Turn it into this really nice, creamy glaze, okay? Doesn't take much. You don't need your mixer for this. A little elbow grease. And now we're just going to drizzle it over the top. Make sure we try to coat as much of it as we can. It's going to run down the sides in the middle. And that's okay. That's all good. Okay. Make sure we get all of our glaze out of here. And that's it. There's our pecan tort for today. Let's let this one sit for a little bit. Let this glaze really just kind of soak into the cake. And then we're going to come back and eat this one. Now you could, if you wanted to, decorate the top of this with halved pecans just to kind of make it dressy and special. We're not doing that. <laughs> pecans are too much money, damn it. Be back for the tasting. <laughs> okay, been sitting for a little bit. Let's see what we got today. I'm really excited about this one because the pecans ground up into the flour, into the cake part of it. Oops, I'm dripping all over the place. Let me get a little, uh, all this glaze or a good amount of it huddled into the middle here, and I really want to make sure I get a good amount of this on my cake. But it seems really moist, the cake. Look at that, look, 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 look. That beautiful glaze on there, maple cinnamon glaze. Let's give this one a taste. The cake seems very dense, which I figured it would, but... Man, oh man. 
This is a really good cake. <laughs> tort, tort. Sorry, I keep saying cake. Really, really good. It's got a great flavor, even besides the maple glaze that we put on top, the maple cinnamon glaze. The cake itself has this great consistency to it. This is going to make a great morning with your coffee cake. Better than coffee cake. Wow, this is so good. Okay, I'm not going to say cake anymore. <laughs> This is a hell of a tort with your coffee. All right. I'm going to eat my tort. And we'll see you tomorrow for baking day number two of three. Another cake tomorrow. I think it's sponge cake day or something. SpongeBob. SpongeBob sponge cake. I'm not making that. I swear to God I'm not. See you tomorrow.